Okay, this last recording I'm going to do for today, it's question six from the test you wrote on Friday. Uh, you'll notice I didn't put a video up for question five. Everybody seemed to be able to find and do question five, so I won't bother with the solution. So question six, let's take a look and uh, see what it tells us about question six. So question six was a synthesis problem. We were asked to provide a synthetic pathway for the molecule shown below. You may use benzene and any reagents with one or two carbon atoms as your source for carbon. You may also use any other reagents you deem necessary. You will need to pull out your carbon-carbon bond forming toolbox for this one. Okay, so let's take a look. And what I was hoping that people would see, uh, we want to do a retro synthetic analysis. So I'm going to work backwards on this one. What I was hoping people would notice after having done problem two, I guess it was, where they did a uh, Robinson annulation, I was hoping people would notice that they have this six-membered ring. Uh, so if you notice that six-membered ring, you can think backwards and realize you can make this from these two reactions. There's our nucleophile. It's going to attack there, right? Uh, then it's going to form a 1,5-dicarbonyl compound and this carbon is going to end up being a double bonded to that carbon, and this carbon ends up there. So you think about it like this. There we go. And we form a new bond between these two carbons and a double bond between this carbon and where the oxygen is. So all we have to do now is figure out how we're going to make those, and let's continue with our uh, retrosynthetic analysis. This one should be easy. We have, uh, we can make this from benzene and we can put on these two groups, but we have to put them on in the right order. So what we have to do is put this one on first. We have to put that one on first because if we put the nitro group on first, we wouldn't be able to do the acylation. Remember, friedel crafts reactions will not go when we have strongly with electron withdrawing groups already on the ring. So if we put the nitro group on there first, uh, we wouldn't have been able to do this. So there we go. We can make this from benzene and the only other reagents we needed had two carbons or less. We here we needed to put this on using a acetyl chloride and a Lewis acid catalyst, and then we can put the NO2 group on quite easily. So the next thing we have to worry about then is how do we make This one. Well, hopefully we see that that is an aldol reaction from acetone and acetaldehyde. It's a cross aldol condensation. Uh, we could do it under directed aldol conditions. So we Let's do this. Let's move this stream over a little bit just to get it out of the way. Okay, so we're not done because this is a two carbon uh, compound, which we can we can use any two carbon compounds we want, but this is a three carbon compound. Actually, I th I'm sorry, I think we said Oh, you may use 
benzene and any reagents with one or two carbon atoms. Okay, so you have to make your acetone somehow. You can make your acetone uh, from uh, acetaldehyde quite easily. If you react acid aldehyde with methyl magnesium bromide, you would make the secondary alcohol and the secondary alcohol could be oxidized to the acetone. So there we go. It wasn't really quite that hard uh, in retrospect. The key thing you had to see was the fact that you had made this lots of times. Uh, you had made it in this exam. Uh, we had done it in the practice exam and you just had to recognize that and you had to recognize the aldol reaction, which we had done a number of times in this exam. So there we go. And that's it for the uh, test. Thank you very much.